Welcome guys to Manitoba Bushcrafting and Reviews. I'm Alex and today we are going to test out the jet boil. It is sitting around minus 16 but minus 26 with the wind chill. So that's pretty decent cold. I can feel it on my hands and on my legs. It's just biting right through my clothes. So there's a, like when I camped out about a week ago or however long that was, uh, it was minus 26, but there was not much of a wind throughout the night. Today, the wind is, yeah, you can feel it. It's pretty cold. So right now I'm gonna let the canister, the jet boil and the water acclimate and we will be back to test it out, see how she performs in some low end of extreme cold. So, see you in a few minutes. <laughs> Sorry guys for the camera work. Uh, okay, we got it set up to the fill line. She's been sitting out here for a little while now, enough time that the, the uh, canteen froze itself shut. So, I think that's cold enough. We will give her some gas. Yeah. Hold on. It's so cold. My hands are just freezing. So let's set her full blast. Okay. So, part one of testing <laughs> is complete. It does not want to start. I will go grab my lighter. Okay. So let's see if this works. Guys, it is just this cheap feel that I'm using, and in minus 26 with the wind chill, she's got trouble starting. I probably would have better results if it was, uh, one, a full canister, or two, uh, the brand name Jet Boil Fuel. They do make a cold weather mixture, too. So we'll have to shop around and see if we can find that. But for now, that's strike one for this fuel and strike one for the jet boil. Okay guys, see you guys in another video. Bye.